We've uh, gone through the obligatory weird opening to <laughs> to this. We can get into the actual gameplay. So let's uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, and play this water mine. Can I survive? I don't think so. Oh, okay, cool. Cool beans. Coolie, coolie, McCoolison. Have a bit of faith. You gotta have faith, the faith, the faith, you gotta have faith. Now, oh, he's making it rain again. Ding, 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 ding. Mmm. Just a little bit of that sort of, oh, yeah. Make it rain. I've earned a thousand coins and I ain't afraid to spend them. Oh, yeah. I'm actually surprisingly pleased with that uh, gold coin motif it's surprisingly pleasant and also i suppose arguably i'm slightly like the one in the make it rain is nice it's nice enough but the actual arcadian coin in the corner is surprisingly good and the only reason i say surprisingly good is because it's kind of it's it's so small it is so small i genuinely yeah, I, I I know I I do some pixel art, so like working on a small scale shouldn't necessarily be something I'm not used to at this stage, but it is like it, it's still got this element of it, it's even smaller than pixel art usually is, because pixel art you're usually looking at sort of like thirty two by thirty two, you can go smaller of course for icons and stuff, but nonetheless you're usually looking at thirty two by thirty two. Whereas that tiny little thing, its smallest, is maybe, I think it was 23 by 23, I might be wrong. That's a weird number to have chosen if it is correct, but uh, I suppose, no, actually, no, 28. It would have been 28, 28, because then it goes up to 56, 56, and then it goes up to 112, 112. Uh, but I decided I'd start at the very small one, because it's easier to make a picture bigger than it is to make a picture smaller. Um, although, you know, eh. Uh, I think... I don't, the game's not going to enjoy this. No, I'm not going to do that. But there is a there is technically a subscriber badge, and it's the Skies logo, and it seems to have looked okay-ish. Uh, the night was calm anyway, right? Uh, why? Please stop, stop, stop. There we go. Good man. I told you to stop, and he did eventually stop. Uh, he didn't stop immediately, but he did eventually stop. Right. We possibly need another filter, like a filter fish. Where are we going to find ourselves a gefilter fish in the middle of a war? Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Anyway, let's build ourselves a filter. Getting ourselves a real filtery good time. Good time for filters. Good time for me. Good time for fishing. And I'll have one for my tea. No, I'm not going to have a fish for tea in Venice. It's rats, Marin. It's only ever rats. What good will it do? Oh, it'll get you water, which will allow me to cook you food, which will remove the hungry. It won't remove, however, the slightly sick. Or the tired, because of course we do need you to be non-tired as well. So supposedly, supposedly the winter was over, wasn't it? So theoretically, I can leave the fireplace 
alone, at least currently. Plus nine degrees is not exactly hot, but it's not exactly cold, cold either. Uh, right, let's see if there's anything on the old radio. Video killed the radio star. Video killed the radio star. No, bullets killed the radio star. International community has agreed to send the peacekeeping forces to Pogoran. The operation is due to start in approximately two weeks. Fuck. Okay. That's another 14 days, game. That's another 14 days. Jesus. I can't. I don't think I can. I don't think we're making it to the end. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Uh, what? What is an uh? The music is playing, marvellous. Oh, death, yeah, yeah, technically death is an end, I suppose, but not, not the happy-ish peacekeepers roll in and uh, save the day end. Um, I say save the day, they don't technically save the day. <laughs> They just roll in. Autobots roll in and destroy Pogoran. Uh, right, okay. Mm, interesting. An elderly couple. Someone who's going fend off looters. Lockpicks might come in handy. Mm, can't remember what happened when I went there. The brothel. Possible trade. Hmm. Eager to trade, apparently, but well guarded by local thugs. But yeah, that's very little scavenged there. The city hospital. Uh, hotel. The hotel I definitely haven't been in at all, it would seem. But that is best to stay away, which... Mm, I got Arika killed when I didn't pay attention to the best to stay away part, so... Mm. I mean, you say they're not hostile, but I obviously didn't... I obviously didn't quite get anywhere that last time I went there, so... Uh, there's only, like, dangerous areas left, I think. Which is a problem. Hmm. I mean, 31 days ago, that was quite a while back. Uh, we'll try it. We'll try a little bit in the... Thing. We'll take a saw blade just in case. But of course the problem with him scavenging means I'm leaving the, the homestead empty. Which means it's easy to scavenge my homestead. Interesting. Okay. Slightly concerning that that's there. Oh, I see. Oh, apparently we, we started that and obviously didn't finish it. Which is concerning because... Why did I... <laughs> why did I never get the chance to finish this? I don't know. Maybe I gave up for reasons... I don't know, again, I don't really know what the reasons would be, but... Oh well, I suppose... Carry on digging, Marin. Carry on digging. Carry on digging. Carry on digging. Cause when you're digging, I know that you're making progress. So carry on digging. Oh! Footsteps above me. Footsteps above me. Are they human? Yes, they are. Mom! Everything alright? Oh, she doesn't hear me. She's a little deaf. Note to self. Old woman, a little bit deaf. Young man, not so much. Are you robbing the old people? Repulsive. I don't know what is repulsive, but, you know, whatever it is, he suggests it's repulsive. Am I rob- I don't think technically I'm robbing the old people, because he looks to be young and he was talking about mother. There is clearly an old person, an old man, um, it's a touch of cloth again, if anybody's watched a touch of cloth, uh, it's very good. If you've not watched a touch of cloth, I would highly recommend a touch of cloth, because a touch of cloth is magnificent. I think, anyway. My legs went numb. Oh, shit. Okay. That's bad news, Bears. Where do we think he's going? Okay, he's not going there. Okay. If he... Yeah, okay. Possibly take the chance of going upstairs, then. We are 
are sort of getting dangerous. Let's get dangerous in our scavenging. It's time to get dangerous. But I guess we don't have a choice. It's time to get dangerous. Dangerous. On the right. Oh, oh shit, no, don't want that ladder. Oh dear, oh dear, hang on. Is he gonna climb down this ladder? Because that would be very awkward. I'll hide in this uh, dark patch. Okay, no, he's not gonna. Oh dear. Okay, hang on. This guy's. No, oh no, he's not going up the ladder yet. He's just investigating the open door, I suppose. Be slightly lucky that I left that door open because it meant he was distracted, leaving me free to climb up here and see what's upstairs. God damn, this is this is genuinely tense right now. Genuinely tense. Although none of this technically is classified as thievery, it is all strictly speaking still scavenging. It's just scavenging from actual people. Uh, oh, okay. Foodstuffs, foodstuffs, foodstuffs. Uh, oh, I thought the controller had died for a moment there. That would have been very inconvenient. Uh, get rid of that plank. Grab all that water. Oh, that's going to be useful. Tobacco, not so much. I'll grab the sugar cubes. Now, I must admit, this, this is feeling a bit like a, a good day. So I think what we might do is make this a good day. I hope I won't have to burn this book. Sometimes it's better it's better not to be greedy. So I'll just go out onto the landing here. And fuck off. Bye. I'm Marin. I've gone. Bye bye. Not stealing if you don't get caught, that's true. But it wasn't stealing in the first place, so technically they couldn't catch me. Although I think just general trespassing on their property would have been enough to to be uh, them trying to tell me off, but it is still very much a sort of... It's weird how he insists on sitting down. I suppose maybe it's because he's depressed when he gets home. Oh, yeah, of course, we've been raided. They stole bullets and food. Okay, well, that's inconvenient. Maybe I should have taken the bullets with me. Well, I didn't have any... I didn't actually have any use for the bullets. <laughs> I don't have any guns. I feel like maybe I should rectify the gun situation. Uh... But then again, I'm trying. I'm trying not, trying not to be a, just a killerman. I'm trying to be a, a sort of a survivor, not a bastard. God damn it, Jim! I'm a survivor, not a bastard. Um, but you can be both. You can be a bastard and a survivor. I believe in you. If you want to be both, you can be. Slightly sick, hungry, depressed, and tired. Cool. The hungry, we can do something about. The uh, depression, not so much. Uh, right, let's get a couple of planks of wood. Might be worthwhile sticking one in the fire after all. I'm a survivor. We're a dying breed. It's very good. Where's that quote from? Feels like I recognise it, but I don't. Which is where you suddenly realise you're an idiot. Which is fair. <laughs> Fair assessment. I am an idiot. So there you go. Spoiler alert. I know. It's crazy. I don't think anybody could have figured that out by themselves. So it's always lucky I'm here to inform you of these uh, key pieces of information. Oh, four or four. Here we go. I'm a wizard, indeed. Uh, right, eight. Xavier Renegade Angel. Okay. Oh. I don't know. I don't know Xavier Renegade Angel, so why I would vaguely have recognised it is probably bullshit. Um, because there is no, there is no real reason why I would have recognised it, since I don't recognise the title of that thing. Ah, uh, we can't. Oh, interesting. We can afford a shotgun. Ah, uh, come on, we'll have a shotgun. Script? No. I'm, I mean, I. Honestly, I'm going to hold my hands up and I'm going to tell you that I don't know how to build a shotgun. But there may be screwing involved. So if you do have to screw this, uh, go go right ahead. But um, I don't 
don't necessarily... Well, there's probably at least a few screws in there, isn't there? Just make sure the screws aren't loose, Marin, because otherwise that shotgun's going to be uh, a little bit... Uh, it is... Oh, it's rather chilly. You, you, you're you claiming it's rather chilly, are you? Fine. Put a couple more logs on the barbie. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll build another few logs. Animated series from the mid-2000s. That is very absurdist, I see. What could it be? You were just complaining it was cold. What good will it do? It'll warm you up, you prick. I know that's not how you're supposed to talk to people with depression. But uh, he's an infuriating man. Simple logical steps, man. Simple logical steps. You cut up the firewood, stick it in the oven, and guess what you are? Warm. That's the point. Right, now let's have a look. another look in here. Right, I appear to have built the uh, thing. Uh, I have a shovel, I have a lockpick. Uh, I'm slightly tempted to build a hatchet, but then again, I now have a shotgun, so I'm not 100% sure how, how beneficial were the bloody shotguns, you know, but not the feel I've got the feeling it's not for everybody. No, possibly, but. I've, many people have disliked many of the things I've loved beyond comparison, so <laughs> I might be one of those people who actually likes it as well. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot else I can do during the day. Ah, uh, right, well. Uh, I must admit, I'm slightly tempted to guard this time. Uh, although I feel like it's sort of... Uh, I'm going to have to scavenge, but I also feel like guarding. I mean, in interesting phrase when it's only Marin there. We couldn't get any sleep because Marin was sobbing all night. By we, you mean Marin. So Marin couldn't get any sleep because Marin was sobbing. But also, Marin wasn't trying to get some sleep because he was defending the homestead. So all in all... You've struck several illogical chords, game. But it's fine, I will forgive you. As long as you have Weetabix, I will forgive you for your transgressions. Uh, do we have a herbal workshop? Yeah, we do. The only thing we don't have is a herbal garden. We could probably do with one of them. The moonshine and the alcohol distiller. Uh, okay, that's good. Yeah, that's going to be the, the improved version, which means I need parts. Because uh, I do have I do have the general alcohol distiller, don't I? Yes, but I would need the improved one. Uh, you've had enough. I can't take it anymore. I just can't take it anymore. Well, maybe leave it alone. Uh, I've only got four bullets, and technically they are bullets for more like a handgun rather than a rather than a shotgun, I think. But I I, I believe I'm. Oh no, I think there is shells, isn't there? So the fact that I don't have any shells means. My shotgun is useless to me. But... No, well, never mind. Let's uh, sleep the day away, because I'm... Oh. I feel like... I feel like what seems to be happening is you have one night where nothing happens and one night where they come and attack. So I'm going to try staying and guarding tonight and then going out tomorrow night in the theory that tonight is going to be the attack. Okay, no, the, the night was calm. Okay, cool. Cool beans. That's fine, okay. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, I suppose arguably I do need to start scavenging again just in case. Especially because he's slightly sick. If I can get my hands on... I mean, granted, to a certain extent, slightly sick means he might last a while. But long enough to actually get to the end game... I do not know, but we'll carry on sort of carry on sort of scavenging food and generally trying to hope that we can get somewhere. Alright, uh, bait it with yeah, bait it with the canned stuff, because I think this canned stuff is not it's not as worthwhile as you would hope. Do, 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 do. I know you could do with some rest, don't worry, I'm getting you to bed. Just, it's just unfortunate that all the beds are upstairs and therefore quite far away. Although, having said that, I do feel like 
in the not too distant future there might be a knocking at the door which makes me inclined to possibly just hang around. I don't know what time of day because I keep I keep sort of sending him to sleep quite early. Let's try a little bit of the radio I think. And ultimately though it's going to be the same messages. Oh no, famine and disease reign over the ravaged city of Pogoran. Death takes heavy toll due with Death takes heavy toll due with no access to food, clean water and medical supplies. I think one of those words I don't feel belongs, but I might be mistaken. Um, now finally there's a message. We are led to believe that international peacekeepers are going to put an end to the civil war in Graznavia in the upcoming days. Well, I, I don't think we're in Graznavia, but I might be mistaken. Put a bit of music on. Anyway. Now I might just... I'll, I'll send him downstairs. You've got the nasty headache. Well, I mean... I know, technically, I know how you feel, and without meds it's uh, difficult, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's just got power through, mate. Right, play that guitar. Weirdly, like, trying to overpower the radio, which surprisingly he has. Oh, there we go. Someone's knocking at the door. Will you shut the fuck up on that guitar? You're not very good, mate. Fucking hell. I'm your neighbour, I want you to shut up, son. Right, are we going to trade or what? Well, it might be the or what part, but we'll see. Uh, oh, if I... Well, I don't actually have any shells, so maybe I should... Should give up the shotgun. I don't really use the shotgun, so... Yeah, okay, let's have a look, Ski. No, he won't do... He won't do, he won't do shotgun for bandages. He will not do shotgun for bandages. Will you do shotgun for meds? No, he will not do shotgun for meds. We do shotgun for snow. No. God damn it. Okay, but we've just about got a deal on meds. Christ. Uh, give him some more gun parts because I'm not necessarily using them. Uh, it would cost you, so we're probably better off. Oh, Christ almighty. The man is... Man, it's driving a hard bargain. I'll give him a couple of bullets in the hope that we can perhaps... Ugh, God. Dude, could you just... Just be willing to trade me a little bit more than you are at the moment. Okay, let's... Let's take one of those away, and that'll do, I don't know. It's one of those age-old ones where maybe I've given away a shotgun. That may have, that may be classified as a unwise decision. But there you go. What I have done in place of uh, my shotgun is possibly given me the opportunity to maybe build some more stuff here. There we go, the Pro Distiller. Uh, and yes, actually that's quite nice because it can be placed just next to the standard distiller. I mean, if you could move the legs a little quicker, I mean, just a tiny bit maybe, and then after you've moved them a tiny bit quicker, you could try moving them a tiny bit quicker on top of that, a teensy tiny bit quicker on top of that, and by Jove, if you keep doing that over and over again, you'll actually be moving at an acceptable pace. Another good day. You're a handyman. You're doing you're doing what the handyman can. And the handyman mixes it with chocolate and builds me my alcohol distillery. Well that would have been nice. I think a lot it's not chilly inside. You didn't complain about it being chilly inside when it was nine degrees, it's now thirteen degrees. And I have thought about heating. And I've realised I can't afford it. Right, okay. So I don't have any standard alcohol, so I can't get that. Uh, I can probably get some firewood, but how do I get my standard alcohol? I've given away all my sugar, haven't I? Yeah, of course I did. Of course I did. Like a fucking moron. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Off we go again. Uh, we'll go... Uh, I suppose, actually, since he's slightly sick, let's go give him those pills I got. 
immediately because you know it might just keep him keep him going that little bit longer oh, as Doctor Strange I believe said we're in the end game now and it's going to be very disappointing like extra disappointing if uh... <laughs> I'm sorry oh I see I missed the first line. All I saw was the words, a.k.a. dandruff. But yes, you could always use sugar substitute, a.k.a. dandruff, yes. That is um, black adder, isn't it? And what was it? You don't, you don't want a... Do you want a creamy one? No. No, you don't. No, you don't. You do not want a creamy one. Absolutely no. Uh, the brothel. I think there is like a big front area for the brothel, isn't there? Where I was able to get at least materials. Oh, go on, let's pop into the brothel. I don't... Uh, uh, so often you require a saw blade, so let's just bring one just in case. You never know when a saw blade will come in handy. And if you do have saw blades, you know, ointment maybe, something like that. Right, we'll just... Sort of sneaky sneaky our way in the front for now. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything there. Uh, but there is a scavenging point, marvellous. What is in the scavenging point? Probably all the shite I didn't want. Uh, do you have any of those brown things you sprinkle on top? Oh, was that the was that the point blank? No. Yes. Uh, it looks like actually this is mostly going to be sort of digging in the bottom maybe. Uh, it's trash. Mostly. Among it like a fashionable handbag. That's not going to be useful. Torn as if someone had ripped it open. Not sparing any thought to a damaged zipper. A tiny framed photo of a young man and a pocket notebook. Whoever tossed these here wasn't their owner. You've watched Blackadder a lot. Gork specifically goes forth a lot. I don't blame you, in fairness. And oh! A saw blade! Fucking hell! Who knew a saw blade was going to come in handy? Apparently, I did. But yes, I watched. I watched a lot of uh, Blackadder, and it is probably, it's probably high time. Unfortunately, I, oh no, this is just a pile of stuff. I thought this was a debris pile getting in my way. Uh, gather all of that. Yes, why not? I want to gather everything, especially in this area because that's a broken guitar. Thanks, game. Thanks for giving me a broken guitar that I really don't need, especially considering I already have a guitar. I'm not angry, game. I'm just disappointed that you gave me trash. And not even good trash that I can use. Now I have two guitars, yes. I'm a special boy. I have two guitars. I can play them both at the same time. Because I'm, I'm a clever I'm a clever little fella. Right, okay, so I think we're all okay at the moment. Because I think the brothel is in the back the back end, as it were, uh, which means any scavenging here is absolutely acceptable. It's going to be if I try and get in the brothel through a non-regulated entrance way, I suspect, is going to be where we have our problems. If you try and get inside the brothel in a non-scheduled, a non-authorised uh, area, you are going to find yourself with troubles. Uh, oh, I might as well pick up those shells since I have them. I have the space. And yeah, we can probably. I think we're all right sprinting around here, so we'll not waste too much time. Uh, mm, no, I think get rid of the broken guitar and take the actual parts. I think it's going to be vastly better. Uh, roll ups, a bit of gadgetry. I think it's going to be better off than. Uh, that, I don't know. Are you a smoker, mate? Oh no, he's a coffee drinker. Oh dear. Just as bad, in fairness, when it comes to to a certain, um, you know, having the withdrawal symptoms. It's, it's equally uh, quite bad. Now, what happens if I open this door? Because I feel like what happens when I open this door is he comes out and goes, Hello, would you like to trade? But I have a nasty feeling that when I go near him... Okay, cool. I will trade. Marvellous, right. 
Uh, I do have some things to trade, but not a lot. I could do with some sugar. <laughs> hey, hey, man. I could do with some sugar, baby. Yeah. Uh, so what do we think? If I give him... If I give him those bullets... Oh. Wow, really? Two bits of gunpowder. Three, three bits of gunpowder. Three bits of gunpowder and you're willing to give me one sugar. Are you, are you fucking shitting me, mate? You can't, you can't... You can't seriously tell me that sugar is worth more than gunpowder. Not interested, sir. Not interested. I will take my business elsewhere. I want to see the manager. I've downgraded the first letter of his name several... Uh, several positions. He has now become Garen. That man wanted three gunpowders for one sugar. <laughs> How do you get by with these prices? You bastard. I will take my business out there and I will never darken your doorstep again, sir. D admittedly, that last line is very much a thank fuck for that. We don't want you in here. Oh, God, it's... It's all fucked. We've been raided, of course we have. Uh, one little food, one good food, and one bullet. Well... I suppose, yeah, that's fine. You're hungry again, well... Next time they'll break through. It's pointless. No... If it was pointless, we'd be able to chat with Alexander Armstrong and Richard Osman. I think we all want that in a war scenario. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think we do, in fairness. Alexander Armstrong is far too chipper for a war scenario. Uh, I often listen to him on Classic FM and he's fucking... Fuck me, is he happy? <laughs> And I realise, I suppose, that's that's just coming from a person who's not happy, so of course he sounds happy. But, Jesus, man, he is so chipper. I suppose, arguably, he is paid to be chipper, but sometimes it does feel like in that early in the morning, man. That early in the morning. Come on. Do the right thing. Come on come on to the radio and just go, fucking, it's too early, isn't it? Fuck me. Like, then I'd respect him more, I think. I'd respect him more if he just came on and went... Jesus, it's early. Look, I'm going to play some tunes. It's fine. Enjoy them. But that's all you're getting. Make for a very different show, wouldn't it? Do, 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 do. Right, I'm probably going to need some firewood, so let's do four firewoods. We're not going to put all the firewood in the fire, but uh, we are going to at least put a little bit of firewood in the fire, I think, perhaps. Because he is still complaining about it being chilly. He's got a chilly willy downstairs. Which is probably where it belongs, because if he had a chilly willy upstairs, he's been built wrong. Um, or I suppose built untraditionally. Maybe it would be unfair to suggest he was built wrong. He was built untraditionally from the conventional. Uh, <laughs> which is a, a distinctly euphemistic way of saying he was built wrong. Uh, right, so I could do with two more gears and a thermometer. Uh, do I have enough resources to build a thermometer? I'm not 100% convinced I do. Uh, no, I didn't think I did. I need more electrical sockets. Uh, don't know where to get more electrical circuits. Ooh! He's no longer down with the sickness! Good! Let's check the radio just quickly. See if... Please. Please. Please tell me the two weeks was generous and they're, they're coming in tomorrow. That would be very useful. Uh, the, yeah, we don't care about the music. Not at the moment, anyway. Famine and disease. Uh, peacekeepers. Damn it. I'll put it back to the music. Put it back to the music. And now let's go to bed. Betty Baba's for me. Betty Baba's for you. Right. Uh, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe we'll guard up tonight. Try and get through a few nights of guarding, since we've got 
We've currently got a decent chunk of food. But Marin is starting to feel unwell again. Come on, mate. Come on. You got you gotta work with me here. You gotta work with me. So oh, it's all getting too hard. Well, you know. I'm not gonna judge you. And it might, you know. Oh, there you go. It's all gotten too hard. But he's no longer depressed. He's simply sad. Which is beneficial to me. Uh, oh, I see. Unfortunately, we've run out of good... We've run out of vegetables. But we can build two more beefy broth. And that's what we need. Sometimes we just need to build ourselves a beefy broth. Well, at least we're pretending it's beef. This, is, uh, this isn't dog food. It's prime... Prime beef in a blue cheese sauce. And it is going to taste... Delicious. Delicious. Come on, we need to improve your guitar skills, mate. My word, it's plus 16 degrees in here. Oh, screw the guitar, we need the food. Although I haven't said that. If I, I don't know if I leave the food in the trap. It will not be... You know, it, it can't be thieved. But if I take the food out of the trap, it can be thieved. I don't know if that's a true or false statement, but I do plan on sort of just hunkering down for a couple of nights. It's not the best of decisions, perhaps, because I'm sort of... It's one of those ones where I'm going to end up kind of... Okay, I'm going to hunker down, but then I'm going to be desperate for resources. Whereas if I go out early they'll probably be thieved, so I'll be desperate for resources, so yeah, it's not... It's not exactly a good choice. But it is perhaps a choice. Let's try and train you up to play the guitar until about 11.30, and then you can go to bed. Because, uh, obviously you do need some sleep, because you were up guarding all night. Typical, typical bloke, eh? You know, up all night, fucking guarding. It's all he fucking does. Guard, 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 guard. Man's obsessed with guarding. There we go, 11.30. You didn't improve. I suppose arguably an hour. About an hour's worth of lesson is not going to make you into insert famous uh, guitarist here. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Slash. Slash would do it. And then Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix was guitar, wasn't he? Alright, I think it's time to just go to sleep until the end of the day. The night has come, and so have I. It's why I'm now simply sad instead of depressed. Day 40. Peace keep... Oh, God damn it! They came in, but we managed to fend them off, and none of us were wounded. Yes. Good man, Marin. I'm very proud of yourself. Very proud of you. Right, let's get some. Let's get another water filter. Although, having said that, I think I have technically got a lot of water, but fuck it. Keep your hands busy. Keep your hands busy. Get a filter going. Get a get a good filter fish. Didn't you do that joke earlier? Yes. But you thinking you you start thinking of another jo joke to do with filters. It's a good point. I can't think of one. Do 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 do. do. Filter? I barely know her. <laughs> there you go, just in case just in case you were thinking of typing that, I got in there first. Serves a little bit uh, more water. You'd gladly eat something. Well I think it's more guitar lessons at the moment. I'm kinda of tempted to save that food at least a little bit. As I say, if we can... Uh, it's one of those ones where if we can just hunker down... But I don't, I'm not going to be able to hunker down for two weeks. Despite the fact that I really want to hunker down for two weeks. <laughs> but then again, it, it was approximately, so maybe there is some wiggle room in there. I think, he's get, I think he might actually be getting better. It's difficult to say for certain. Because it's still quite shit. But I, I feel like it's slightly less shit than when he started. And, you know, oh, hello! Someone's knocking at the door! Never mind the guitar! 
Okay, is there anything... Because this is the other th way of that hunkering down can actually work quite well. Because I could potentially... I could possibly hunker down and just... Oh, I've... Oh, I didn't know if you had a filter. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, he is sick, so I could probably... Yeah, it would cost you, though. That's the problem. Uh, and it would cost you for the alcohol as well. Uh, I needed electrodes, but I did need a couple of gears, didn't I? So maybe if I grab a stack of... Yeah, a stack of gears is four. So if we try and grab a stack of gears, and then maybe... Of course it won't do. Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, that's just barely got me the deal. Can, are you willing to sweeten it? No, sir. He is not willing to sweeten that deal. Well, I don't have a gun, so I suppose I might as well give him the bullet, but... I'll give him the bullet for my valentine. Grab some water. Ah, oh, goddammit. Goddamn you, sir, goddamn you. Uh, okay, fine, we'll have a deal. Are you willing to sweeten the pot? No, he's not willing to sweeten any pots. Uh, that's a lot of shit I'm giving him, but fine. I do require the stuff he's given me, so... Again, it's kind of... It's just... It's nearly at an end. Just keep hunkering. Uh, so I'll tell you what, we'll do a bit... Do another hour's worth of guitar. I think it is. I don't, oh, no, no, not that chair, that chair. I mean, you could technically, theoretically, assume he would guitar in either chair, but... You know, he clearly can't, so... Bam, bam. It's almost a tune. It's more of a tune than you ever managed to carry. That's true. That is true. I am awful. Uh, I don't so... If I don't feel so well, I think I have the shivers. Well, I mean... I'd take the shivers over the shits any day, thank you. Um, would you? Oh. If we've, we've gained a key insight into your mind. Yeah. And yeah, I've noticed it's easy to f fall ill while it's cold outside. It's cold outside, no can't fancy, I'm all alone. More please, let me fly far away from here. <laughs> That was that was one of the earlier drafts, because uh, it's weird. What I didn't know, uh, I, I do feel like I know it now. But what I didn't know originally was that that song is by Howard Goodall, who is also the individual. Oops, no, carry on, carry on doing that. Uh, I believe it's I believe the name is Howard Goodall, uh, but yeah, it's Howard Goodall who did the Red Dwarf fame, and he also does the QI thing. Or at least I'm relatively certain in that uh, fact. Uh, do fact check those if you were if you were ever going to sort of bring them out as a sort of anecdote. I, w I would recommend fact checking first because I can't guarantee any of that is true. Uh, gosh darn it! I need parts. Uh, let's get four more wood. I think at this point we'll probably put all that wood on the fire because he keeps complaining about being cold and he is slightly sick so maybe if we can we can up the firewood we can up the temperature it's not strictly speaking how fire works but it might be enough in this game to make it work oh, there. Do, do, do. there you go good lad again shivers Truth be told, I can live with shivers. I did, uh, at one point. Uh, someone's knocking at the door. Oh, this is another guy I probably can't actually help, but he'll stay there for a moment or two, so we'll fix up the trap. Um, and I know, but you see, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make it so that you're not eating things at the moment, because that way, I don't know. <laughs> Feels feels like it's worthwhile just trying to eat the it, ration it out, eat it longer and longer. But uh, gosh darn it! Hi there, neighbor Bruno, neighbor Bruno, neighbor Oh no! Uh, good day to you. Good day, good day to you. I live down the street, and I notice you're living in this abandoned building. 
Uh, I've got some news. There was a humanitarian aid drop last night. It's going slightly more South African there. Most containers were confiscated by the rebels, but I know about one they missed. It landed in no man's land, so it might be dangerous to get to it, but under the colour of darkness we should be able to make it. I'll show you where it is if you carry me supplies. Deal? I mean, I, I would make the deal, but I can't, because I can't have... The issue, I think, as we discovered previously, the issue is you can't leave the sort of homestead completely empty on those quests. Which unfortunately means I can't go out on those quests. Which is uh, annoying. Annoying to say the least. But, nonetheless, it is, it is one of those things. One of those doings and one of those thingies. That's right indeed. Oh, there we go. Guitar practice is over. Back to sleep now. But I say back to sleep. Technically, he's never. He hasn't started sleeping and since last night, which of course is. Oh, I didn't put the fire on the fire, did I? Did I put the fire on the fire? No, I didn't. I didn't put fire on fire. There we go. All logs on fire. Get them logs on fire. So that we can not burn. Well, no, so we can not be cold. Uh, end the day. Go on. The night. The night is young, and so am I. Well, I don't actually know that for a fact. Uh, I don't know how old Marin's supposed to be. Day 42. I'll check the radio today. Uh, the night was calm. Good. Good. Oh, extra bit in his bio. I'm really worried about our lack of food. I can hear my stomach rumbling. Uh, I mean, technically... Technically speaking, we don't have a lack of food. It's just I've refused to feed you. There is a subtle difference. <laughs> I suppose arguably when his stomach's rumbling he doesn't realise the difference but alright uh, I don't know I suppose maybe if we if we double down on the food here we can get him back to not hungry at all you wouldn't mind another helping go on, go on god I'm generous like I'm some kind of humanitarian uh <laughs> As opposed to the normal bastard, I usually am. Come on, break those sticks down. Now make us make you make yourself two more, two more beefy broths. Come on, buddy, you can do it. We believe in you. I believe in Harvey Dent, but I don't think Harvey Dent's going to do me much good at this point in time. Three logs on my fire, and they're still burning free. Right, check the radio. It's all getting too hard. And it's been like this for four hours. But there are no doctors to see anymore. So it's just remaining hard. Uh, music is playing. Tuning, tuning, tuning. Oh, okay. Ooh! We have confirmation that the peacekeeping forces are indeed en route to Pogoran. We should expect ceasefire any day now. Any. Day. Now. Come on. Come on. Come on, Marin. Come on, Marin. Oh, we can do this. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can survive the end of the... Oh, whoa, that's right. The end is in. The end is in sight. I know you haven't slept, but... You know, we've got more important things to do. We need to check the traps, bait them again. Come on, we can just hunker down. Hunker down for the next few days. And we might... I might... Oh, I'm supposed to be putting it away, but I might push it a little bit further than usual. Just to see if we can get to the end. Because then it'll be rather convenient to end it this week. Because then it won't be a case of five minutes in next week. It'll be... Oh, you've, you've done it. Uh, it'll be much more convenient to have it be um, completed this week, and then I can move on to do something else next week. Precisely what, I'm not entirely sure yet. There's a couple of things in mind, and I might throw it out to the Discord to make a final decision, perhaps. Yeah, he's definitely getting better, isn't he? Just a, just goes to show you. And I'm not going to follow my own advice on this uh, beautiful point, but 
just goes to show you, an hour of practice a day, even in the worst of situations, an hour or two of practice a day, you can learn the guitar. Or something else. Um, mostly. Mostly learn the guitar. There's still room for improvement, I think. He was twanging in a few of those twangers, and that is officially what guitar strings are called, if you're unaware. Uh, they are officially known as twangers, because they go twang twang. Uh, unlike the widow twanky, who goes twang twang. Uh, <laughs> <gasps> the war is over. You've survived. Holy big balls! Winrar is here! I'm a million! No, this is good! Buried alive. A shell hit a nearby tenement and some people were trapped under the rubble. Bruno helped pull them out. God damn, we started with Bruno! Eee. Bruno, there you go! I knew you'd enjoy that one. We robbed the hospital. The hospital was running short on medical supplies and yet Bruno stole the little they... what... Li the little they had. Yeah, that is a sentence, that's fair. Grateful daughter. A daughter of one of the people we had saved earlier came to thank us and gave us her mother's uh, earrings. Bruno left us. They should be slightly louder than previously, but I'm not 100% convinced. Some of them are just low volume anyway. Bruno stole our supplies and left us on our own. He's a bastard. Marin was looking for shelter and we let him stay with us. And in fact, it was Marin who survived in the end. Our neighbour felt unsafe and asked us to help her board up her windows. We did that. Desperate cry for protection. The only slight issue is I think there might be a slight echo on some of those uh, redeeming balls, but I haven't figured that one out yet. Uh, there's no options around that at the moment to get it loud and not loud. Oh, good lord, bits. And oh, that's interesting. That's not. Uh, that's still not the graphic it's supposed to be. Attica took other people's supplies. I'll have to look into the graphics there because it really doesn't seem to be doing it properly. Uh, it's a good enough graphic, I suppose. Better than the one it did previously, so I don't know why. Mm, that graphic is really confusing me. Romans stole our supplies and left us on our own. The long-awaited ceasefire finally came into force, eventually putting an end to the fighting in Pogoran. Those who managed to survive the war in Glasnavia would never forget it. Marin cheated death again and saw the end of fighting. Although he remained plagued by the survivor's guilt, he set about rebuilding his life, and soon he was running a small repair business again. He kept the action figure on his workbench but never found the courage to look for its previous owner. Bruno left the shelter one night. He was trying to reach his friend and got shot while attempting to slip between army pickets. Couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. You stole my shit. Tough girl as she was, Alec had died. Harsh reality of living in a ghetto could not be compared to the horrors of war. What would have become of her if she'd survived? We will never know. Roman disappeared from the shelter one night, leaving no note. He survived the war, but was soon arrested for murder and sentenced to 15 years in prison. Well, I didn't make him a murderer, so he did that by himself. But yes, spectacular. We did a win. We did a win. And thank you very much for the 100 bits. That's very appreciated immensely. I realise I got, I got a little too distracted by the ineptitude of the graphic. Um, again, again. Well, certainly not this week, and I think, I don't know, I, I must try this stories mode. I don't know what that is, and of course there are, I'll replay the ending, okay, that's that. Uh, start over the scenario, or begin another game with a different bunch, so yeah, you've got, oh Christ, we've unlocked new ones. So yeah, I think that one I did by myself, yeah, and then this one we've just done now. That one we survived 14 days. That's not good when it comes down to like 40 odd. Uh, then, yeah, we've just unlocked Zlata, Amelia, and Kalina, which I'm assuming at least one of those is a child. And then Marco alone. Just lone Marco. My word. He's not even got a polo with him. Marco, Marco Polo, Marco Polo. <laughs> um, but yeah, the other one is Stories Mode, which is like weird. I don't know what stories mode is. I, so I suppose it's a story, isn't it? You fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> Father's Promise. The last broadcast or feeding embers. But I must admit, I, I do sort of... It, it, it's one of those games that I enjoy, 
but it does feel like it's dragged a bit over the weeks. I think it's because we've ended up cutting it down to an hour less than, in fairness, less than an hour per week, which is not great. Uh, but I don't particularly want to go too far over the midnight marker, which is, you know, not unreasonable, I don't think. Uh, precisely what we'll do next week, I do not know. But it will be something different. I think we'll do something other than this war of mine. Something more sort of pick up and play than necessarily continuing. As I say, there is two... Yeah, there's definitely sort of two... Maybe three if I throw that into the mix. Because that one definitely would work as an interesting and amusing one. Uh, but yeah, there's two to three in the mix, I think. Unless I completely change my mind and do something completely different. Uh, possibly a man with free buttocks. Uh, but how would you do a man with free buttocks? Would you have to just... Because that does, that does presuppose two, two, uh, two holes. <laughs> do you, do you, uh, do, do you exchange part way? Do you give them equal attention? Do you just concentrate on one? It's, nobody knows. Nobody cares. Nobody understands. Anyway, right. Let's see. Let's see about our doings uh, and what we can further have. So next week, <laughs> nani. Uh, what we can have, and I will probably get the nanny one at some point, uh, operational, a fully operational battleship. Uh, but there's also, I can't actually access them here. Mm, no, I can't. Huh. Well, there are, there are sound doodads as well. I've uploaded some sound doodads. There are several more I want to uh, pop in that as well. But they they are bitties. They are bitty ones. Bitties. Everybody likes some bitties. Oh, you're doing a watch party. That's a shame, because you're very entertaining. Oh, uh, blimey. It's, uh, whew, basically dead, as far as I can tell, yeah? Well, in terms of people I've vetted and know, <laughs> know what they're up to, I suppose I could just random person, but... Uh, uh, how many, how many... How many peeps are here? How many of you are here? Hello. Uh, oh, oh golly. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Ooh, uh, mm, yeah. Mm. Uh, mm, uh, ooh. Uh, that is the that is the sound of my brain trying to calculate things. Ah, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh. uh. I, I suppose we might as well go into Nickel City. Yeah, I might as well do one, uh, as it were. Uh, although, uh, nah, nah, yeah, yeah well, Nickel City will, will make some level of impact. Um, whereas most of the others are sort of already in the thousands, so it's kind of like less, less impactful when you raid into a person with 500 viewers. Uh, some still appreciate it, but others just have turned that level off entirely and gone I don't care for your seven viewers yeah, I've, I've seven was a generous number in fairness, I don't care for your free viewers, I don't care at all sir, uh, right anyway we'll we'll pop into Nickel City uh, you can either stick around and watch some X-Wang or you could uh, yeah, you know, just leave, that's entirely your prerogative and entirely your choice uh, right, let's mute that so we don't interfere with anything. That's running the advert. That's fine. You spent all my points. Oh, silly billy boy, silly billy. You'll have to save up some more points. Only when you've saved up some more points can you f me, or bring out. Uh, bring out Ever tell me the neighborhood Han Trio, which again I don't. I need to review it and see the sort of volumes it's doing now. It should be higher than previously, but I can't guarantee that. It's proving troublesome to get the... Fuck me! There you go. Maybe if you ask nicely. Um, treat me to a dinner first. Anyway, this, the, the time is very much running out, so I either have to cancel it or hurry up. I'll hurry up. I'll be back Saturday for Saturday RPG, of course. We'll be doing more Final Fantasy 13. Hopefully get some progress done. And then... 
will be back Wednesday for either the HodgePodge or Friendsday, and then we'll be back Thursday, Dragon Quest and new game. So I will say cheerio, do the raid and leave. Cheerio!